so we thank you so much for being there if you have not subscribed please subscribe to this channel as we go ahead so according to this question where we are supposed to make or uh, to sketch a graph where we can determine the values of a and b we have been given y is equal to ax squared plus bx so the easiest conversion the best conversion for this from the table of values for x and y will be rearranging in the form we divide all through by x such that we are going to have a graph of the form y over x is equal to ax plus b it is now in the form y equals mx plus c okay so we are going to make a table here where we have the x values and the values of y on x these are the x values that we're given we have 2.0 2.5 3.0 3.5 4.0 4.5 and 5. so here to uh, for the values of y on x the first uh, y value is 28 and the first x, x value is uh, 2 so we have 28 divided by 2 that gives us 14 the next one will be 31.3 divided by 2.5 uh, that will give us approximately uh, 12.5 because it says one decimal place okay and then uh, not saying to one decimal place that we can easily use on our graph sorry and then we have 33 divided by 3 uh, which is 11.0 we have 33.3 .3 divided by 3.5 that gives us approximately 9.5 and then 32 divided by 4 which is 8.0 29 divided by 29.3 divided by 4.5 that will give us 6.5 and the last one we have um, 25 uh, divided by 5 which is equal to 5 okay so we are going to sketch a curve using these values a curve of y on x against x so we get a suitable scale so for this my scale here each of these squares is so I'm taking one centimeter for one square. Okay, so I have four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. And I'm not really starting from the origin because I don't have enough space since I'm working on online life. Otherwise, it will not be very visible or clear to you. So now uh, the points now for the x uh, values, I have zero to six, zero to six. We can now plot these points. When x is two. When x is 2, we have 14. So 2 and 14 this is the point here. The next is 2.5, uh, 2.5, uh, 2.5, and which value? 12.5. Okay, so midway between these two squares, 12 and 12.5. Then we have 3 and 11.0. 3 and 11.0, that's 11. The next one is um, 3.5 and 9.5. 3.5 and 9.5. Then we have 4 and 8. It's 4, y on x is 8. We have 4.5 and 6.5. 4.5 and 6.5. Then we have uh, 5 and 5. Yes, 5 and 5. From what we had here of the form y equals mx plus c, we were sure that it was going to be a straight line. So we are going to use a meta rule, a ruler, sorry to link all these points and you see that all the points will fall on the line even if some don't really fall exactly on the line since an approximation or an estimation uh, it will still be okay but this one the line is very clear so everything falls on the line so now we need a gradient we need a change on the y axis and change on the x axis so we make sure that we make a large triangle to get a change that is significant clear and accurate so let me take this point A, the point A here, X is 2, and Y on X is 14, okay? Then the next point, we have the point 5, 5, the point 5 and 5, okay? So here, our change in Y will be given by the Y value here on the Y value that we have here. That's going to be 14 minus 5. So our change in Y will be 14 minus 5, which is 9.00, or just 9. And what will be the change in x? Change in x, since I started with this point, I must start with this point 2. That's going to give me 2 minus 5, which is negative 3. Okay? I said 14 minus 5. I must also say 2 minus 5. And I have my change in y here, which is 9, and change in x, which is negative 3. Now, from this form that we have here, mx plus c, we know that this change in y over change in x is going to give me the value of a here, right? 
So from here, my a will be equal to change in y over change in x, which is 9, or negative 3, which is negative 3. And of course, my answer is negative because this is a negative slope. We slope from uh, top left to bottom right. So this is negative slope, okay? And then now for b, how do I get the value of b? And now, for us to find the value of B, we can choose a point, okay, uh, maybe along an intercept, okay, or we can just take a point along this line and we substitute in this equation to find the value of B. So, for example, here at the point 214, we have 14 is equal to, we substitute in this equation, right, 14 is equal to, um, that's a, a is negative 3, so negative 3 times x, the value of x there is 2, so negative 3 times 2 plus b, and from here we can find the value of b, from here b will be equal to, or 14 is equal to negative 6 plus b, and b is equal to 14 plus 6, which is 20, okay, and from this, uh, that we, from this uh, equation we have modeled, you can see that v, b here is the y-intercept, so if you extend this line continuously, if this paper was large enough, we would have seen the value of B directly. We would have intercepted this curve at the point B up here. We would have touched this uh, curve, uh, this axis, where the Y value here is 20. If the paper extended like that, I could have just read the value directly. But since I did not extend like that, I could just take any point along this line. And now substitute here, since I already have the value of um, B, to the value of A to find the value of B. What another student might do is this. After coming, with the, uh, coming out with this curve, a student might now decide to take two points on this uh, line, two points here, and will form two equations in terms of A and B, and solving those simultaneous equations will give the students the values of A and B. Okay? Now, oh, perfect. So, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Uh, this is the GCE panel. We equally have solutions for other papers. If you need the complete solution from 2015 to 2023 or 2011 to 2023 for papers 1, 2, and 3 pure math statistics, please click on the link below this video, the WhatsApp link, and you'll be connected to us on WhatsApp, and we are going to discuss about the payment and the small token you have to give, okay? Equally, we are in need of chemistry paper 3 papers for any years. We are pleading on you, dear students, that we know you have these papers or we know you have friends who have them help and send these papers to us, be it PDF or whatever. Click on the link to below and leave your query. We are producing this because we want to help you out there. And if you have students who have been complaining that they have issues with this, we are really pleading with all of you that you assist us to actually help them as to prepare for this upcoming GCE. Thank you so much. Stay tuned. And if you have not subscribed, you are not doing us any good. If you have not shared this video to up to 10 groups, it means you really hate this panel. If you have not shared to up to 10 groups where students are found and are in need of this material, then you are not helping us. Thank you so much for prepare your exam and God bless you. See you in question 5. Bye-bye.